guys, I'm back again with some empties. Now, my empties were getting out of control, and so I decided to do them early and not around my January favorites video. I thought I'd do that. And besides, Jinx wanted to hang out. She gets really upset that the puppy stars in all the videos <laughs> in the makeup room. So um, I promised her, hey, I'll do a couple videos here and there and here so you can walk around, play with all the products, kick around some mascara that's on the floor uh, so she can have fun too. So I'm gonna get right into the empties. This is where I just show you what I used up. The last one I did was like November 29th or so, so there's a lot of stuff that I used up since then. Uh, the first thing I've talked about before, it's from NARS. I'm not a really big fan of it. I usually love NARS, but I'm not a really big fan of this makeup removing water. Um, it's really, really expensive. It's, uh, let's see, how many ounces? 6.7 ounces. It doesn't work on my eye makeup. So it's kind of useless to me. Uh, I really used it basically after I realized it wasn't good for, because a lot of the eye products that I use are, you know, long wearing. Um, I don't use waterproof mascara, but I, I have mascara that, you know, lasts and eyeliner that lasts so it's really just not a great fit for me um, it was a great fit for taking off lip products my lips are pretty sensitive I have to take up off whatever I'm wearing at night really thoroughly lip gloss lipstick take it off really thoroughly or else the next day I wake up with really puffy pillow lips and they're like twice as big as they are now which is pretty darn big. Um, the directions say to saturate a cotton pad and gently sweep over face and remove makeup. It might take off my face makeup like foundation, powder, and that kind of thing, but for long wearing eye products, not a good fit. Um, if you have, you know, some things that you know, need something serious to take them off. This is not a good fit, so I wouldn't repurchase. I'll put the link uh, to my review, my blog review on this and any of the other items that I talk about that I have a review for. So you can check that out below if you want more information on pricing. I forget how much it is, I just know it's way too much. I went through a lot of makeup wipes. So like I said, the last video was November 29th. So in that time, I've gone through four packages of makeup wipes. Um, I had a little help though. That's my friend Mike, we're discussing Atlanta Housewives. Um, <laughs> that's our show. Next time he's here and we have one of our little marathons, I have to get him to make a video with me, you'd love him. Anyway, makeup wipes, uh, I had a little help, I was telling you that. I had a little help because as I mentioned a couple videos ago, uh, I was watching two uh, of my friend's girls while they were on vacation. They had a really great opportunity to take a trip. And we spent a lot of time in the makeup room. Two days in a row, we did makeovers, we did masks, we did make, they tried on 10 lipsticks a piece, or 10 lip glosses a piece, I swear. Uh, so we had a lot of fun and we used a lot of wipes, so that's why I probably have so many. Um, these are my favorites. They're Neutrogena's Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I get these actually from the um, store nearby that sells things in bulk. Uh, my husband gets these for me. They give you like eight at once or whatever for a discounted price, so uh, I use these quite a bit. They're the refill packs, and these are definitely my favorites on the market, and I've tried quite a few. I also went through, and I tried, you know, because I'm always trying different things, CVS had a uh, bigger set that was the nighttime uh, cleansing towelettes, <laughs> and these were pretty good. Uh, it, they do remove the stubborn waterproof makeup like they say on the front, and they're made, they're kind of gentle, I like that. They're made with chamomile, aloe, and white tea, so I did enjoy those. I'll probably stick with, because I just have so many of these, uh, but definitely CVS, it's you know less expensive than buying one of these individually at CVS, uh, so these are definitely a great option. I really like the way that they sort of smelled and they were scented. The wipes that I've talked about these before, for and I do not like them. I finally finished them up. I didn't even enjoy like finishing these. I was, I was, they sat there for a while because I just, they don't work on me and they are very, very super dry. And I mentioned this before that I don't like these. And you know, I heard back from a couple people that do. And you know, I could have gotten a bad pack, but these are the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Wipes. Um, you get 30 in here and it's very expensive. I think it was around 15 bucks at Nordstrom. I wanted to try them because I do like Purity the cleanser. I did enjoy that, so I wanted to try their wipes. I wanted to see, you know, if they would be really, really good. And I did not like these at all. I would not recommend these. And uh, I would definitely stick with, you know, Neutrogena or even the CVS. Those were good. MAC, uh, Gently Off I Am Lip Makeup Remover. Did not like this. Took me a long time to use this up. It really, it, it, I just didn't like it. 
It really didn't do anything spectacular to me. I just really didn't like it. It's 3.4 ounces and I would not purchase it again. I wouldn't say, um, it does, it says it's gently off, you know, and I would say that that's fine, but I guess I just need something that works a little harder. It's kind of the same scenario as um, the other, you know, NARS product. It's like I need something a little tougher. Um, if you have very sensitive skin, it might be a great fit for you, uh, but for me personally, not a good fit. Uh, this was really good. They sent me this. Yardley London sent me this, and it's a shower gel, and I really, really liked it. It was, it's mango and lily, and I really enjoyed using this. It was, let's see, 16 fluid ounces, and it was just so good. I wouldn't say it's the most moisturizing thing. It says it hydrates and softens with mango butter, which that that's what got me. I love mango. Uh, and essential oil, so it's not super, super moisturizing, um, you know, like the most moisturizing wash I've ever used used our shower gel but I really really enjoyed it and I would purchase this in the store it was that good this it took me forever to finish um, it's Clinique's liquid facial soap oily skin formula it's 6.7 ounces and I'll tell you why it took me so long to use this up um, I really like that they have a formula uh, for people with oily skin I really like that. The thing is, is it takes me a while to use it because um, I just use this. I find it's best to use in the hotter months of the year um, when you just feel like you need a soap to cleanse your skin. So it took me a while to use it. It's combination oily to oily. So if you're in there like I am, I'm usually combination and then in the, you know, August I get super oily. Uh, but. <laughs> Jinx. She keeps playing with stuff. Um, she's really happy to be back, y'all. Uh, so yeah, it took me a while to use it. I don't think I would repurchase this again because I'm really happy with my Bare Minerals uh, pure purifying facial cleanser. So I don't think I'll be reusing this. And there's something else that I like, you know. So this is kind of like farther down the list, so I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I went through a couple of brush cleansers, and I'm committed to using up all my brush cleansers before I order my favorite one, which I've showed you uh, a couple times when I got it, when I reviewed it, and when I finished it. It's from London Brush Company, um, their brush clean cleanser. So I used up the e.l.f. Uh, Daily Brush Cleanser. This is one that you kind of just spray on your brushes, and it's really inexpensive. I would say it's great for spot cleansing, and um, it's an antibacterial daily brush cleanser for quick clean cleansing in between between makeup applications. It's a decent size, it's 8.5 ounce, so it took me a long time to finish it, and I think I got it over a year ago. Uh, but you know, I, I usually tend to go for the deep cleansing. I don't know why, I just, it's a, it's a, it's like, you know, a personal choice. I like to cleanse my brushes thoroughly, you know, get water, you know, soap them up and that kind of a thing to cleanse them as opposed to spot cleansing. I think that's why it took me so long to use that. Um, I also used up the Makeup Brush Shampoo from Sephora. This is the smaller one. I used up a bigger one um, way earlier in 2012 and I just went back for a smaller one. I really like this stuff. It has a pump and uh, I, I would say I definitely like it. I would repurchase this again. It's two ounces, so I got the small one and I believe the bigger one I got was like more along the lines of six ounces, something like that. And um, I like it. It's again antibacterial. I like the way it soaps up. It gets my brushes really clean. Uh, not as clean as the London Brush Company uh, brush soap, but that's kind of a different method to me. So, uh, and it gets my, that London Brush Soap, um, Brush Company uh, soap, really gets my brushes that are white. You know, some of your brushes, at least for me, some of them are like my Real Techniques brushes have white bristles. Part of them are white. Part of the bristles are white. It just gets them clean the first run through. This one, it doesn't get them clean. I mean, I really have to work it to get it to uh, clean the uh, white bristles, you know, thoroughly. It's not as easy. I have a lot of mascaras to show you because I have a couple that I didn't realize were in the bag when I did past uh, empties videos. Uh, one that I finally used up and wore out was the Clump Crusher by Last Flash Blast. Uh, this is a fantastic mascara. I recommend everybody try this. I couldn't say enough good things about it. Here it is right here. That's the brush. I use multiple layers of mascara each day and this is one of the only products out there that I found that I can layer, 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 layer and no clumps. 
That's basically why I love it. Uh, before that, my favorite, someone asked me this very recently, like yesterday in a comment on an old video, do I like the purple version, the Lash Blast Fusion? And I really do. Um, this was kind of my favorite before the clump crusher came along. The brush looks like this. Uh, I do find that I have to work with this very carefully on the later layers just to prevent clumping, uh, but it does a great job. This mascara, I'm just throwing away because I just don't like it. It's Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes. Um, I talked about how I did not like this mascara. Uh, it's one of the... Um, <sighs> One of the, I don't want to say the worst, but yeah, that's what I mean. It's one of the um, most unenjoyable formulas I've ever used. Uh, I just got really spiky, gross lashes with it. Uh, what I did try to do is mix it with other mascaras and then it works. So if you have a tube and you don't like it, I encourage you to mix it with other mascaras because sometimes you can really get a better effect and kind of, you know, not waste your money like I did on a mascara. But I just, I'm tired of doing double duty and even trying to work with this uh, so I'm just throwing it away. I want to recommend a primer though I love. I talked about this before. It's from Tarte. It's kind of pricey. I believe it's like $19 a tube but it's Lights Camera Lashes uh, Lash Primer and I have never been a fan of lash primers until this. Uh, it's just lasted so long for me. I've had this tube, I mean the packaging on the outside is worn out. I've been using this for so long. I want to say I've been using this for, you know, way past what I should have. Uh, probably for four or five, maybe, it's got to be at least five months. That is the uh, brush wand. I just want to say you put this on, you put whatever mascara on you're going to use after it, and it just it, it just really, like I've stopped wearing false lashes because I just like what this does to every mascara I pair it with. Every mascara I pair it with. It takes a crappy mascara and makes it work and thicken and volumize really, really well. By the way, it couldn't do much for this, but if you have a good volumizing mascara, even a lengthening one that you like, that's just going to pump it up, and I really like that it lasted so freaking long. That's great. Um, this is a mascara by It Cosmetics that I really, really like. Again, it's pricey. I have a blog post with a before and after shot, so I'll, I will link that below so you can see. It's uh, a black mascara by them, Hello Lashes, and I really, really like it and I will show you what the feature that I, I really kind of go nuts over on it is. This is the wand and if you see that end, that kind of ball tip end, I really like this for getting those inner lash, inner um, <clears throat> lash areas, corners, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's really good for that. This helps me with my lower lashes really well. I'm not really big on doing my lower lashes, but with this I can. I just think it's a great, great mascara, and it makes my mas my lashes reach for the sky, which is kind of cool. Um, so definitely a great mascara. This is uh, something I saw on QVC, and they were nice enough to send it to me to review, and I really, really liked it. So uh, I told you I had a lot of empties, but I wanted to uh, go through them all for you. Um, I just wouldn't go for this. I wouldn't go for the uh, NARS uh, because, you know, if you're looking for something and you wear kind of long-lasting eye products, this isn't a good fit. And I wouldn't go for these because these were incredibly dry to me. And again, I might have gotten a great, uh, a really bad pack. Those are the items that I would say I would never purchase again. Um, but of course, you know, that's just me. It's just one, you know, person's opinion. And uh, yeah, I just like to give you my feedback after using things because I want you to be happy with the things that you purchase. So I'll talk to you guys soon and uh, hopefully you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.